Browns are deserved. Right at Bates on the slide, Williams. Albright with the block and then the kill. What a night for Annika Albright. Nebraska at set point. It's long. Nebraska has come from behind. Down 0-2. Nebraska wins it at home. 3-0 over the Badgers. Nebraska has been one of the hottest teams in Big Ten play as of late, and Annika Albright is a big reason why. We're joined now by the Husker senior outside hitter. Uh, Annika, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. Now, first of all, your coach called last week's schedule one of the toughest slate of games in the Big Ten, and you guys got through it with three top ten wins, which was a first in program history. So what did it mean to reach that mark, especially with this team that had had some earlier miscues in the season? Yeah, um, it definitely is a good team. It was a good team week for us. Um, Going into the week, we knew that there were three great teams that we were going up against, and they have great programs and um, great coaches and great chemistry on their court. And we knew that we had, and they had a lot of talent, we knew that we had to be the better team out there. And we trained really hard. We scouted them really well, and the coaches did a great job introducing us to those teams before we saw them. And we were well prepared, and we went out and we executed uh, the way we wanted to. When you guys sweep a team like Penn State, who hadn't been swept since 2003, and then you go on and sweep Minnesota, another top five team, what does it do for this Huskers team's confidence? Um, it definitely boosts our confidence, and it just it helps us trust um, not only our coaches but each other, because we go out there and we play our hearts out, and it it came out the way we wanted it to in three sets, which is awesome. On these big stages, you've really stepped up. You had a career-high 19 kills in that Penn State match, and then you had a double-double versus Wisconsin, 18 kills, 12 digs. As a senior on this team, your role has really widened. How have you embraced that? Um, it's been really fun being out there on the court with everyone. And um, again, I can't give enough credit to the rest of the team. Just uh, we're getting the ball up in the air. Our defense has been awesome and our passing's been great and then whoever's setting the ball's been there every time and it's just made things go so easily and knowing that everyone's covering you gives you more confidence and it's just been really fun out there with everyone and the tough matches continue for you guys next up you've got the big tens other unbeaten co-leader michigan state what type of toll does it take playing this many ranked opponents back to back to back and how are you guys approaching that match versus the spartans um, it's exciting. We get another great opportunity coming up, and um, it's tough, obviously, playing four great teams in a row, and the Big Ten is never easy. Um, but we're definitely, we do a lot of mental preparation. It's really tough when you're going against all these great teams back to back to back. And, um, yeah, so we're just going at it. We have two, two days to get after it in practice, and then Wednesday we, we get to take them, and we're excited. We're ready. You're telling me beforehand that there's something you guys have been doing in the locker room before these big matches that perhaps is maybe keeping you guys loose. Can you uh, mention what it is? <laughs> yeah, we we just we like to dance, and so before the games, uh, we'll put on music, and it can be anywhere from like a certain type of rap song to like "All I Want for Christmas" by Mariah Carey, <laughs> and we just we love to dance, and so we blast the music and. We just get loose and it gets us warm and we have so much fun and yeah, I think it it, it gets us warmed up for the game. <laughs> the best kind of pre-game warm-up for you guys, Annika oh, Albright. Yeah. Thanks so much for joining us and good luck the rest of the season. <laughs>